biting me. This dog is biting me. Good morning internet, it is 5 to 8 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. I am in Tilcara in Argentina and uh, I'm just gonna see if the breakfast is ready. But before I do that, it's a little bit cloudy still. So hopefully today is going to be a, a nice day. Uh, I will show you on the map where I am and where I'm going. Alright, so... Uh, in the last ride I came from Salta over here and I am now in Tilcara and my plan for today is to go to Humahuaca which is over here then take some back roads in this area and then return down here uh, I think somewhere over here uh, to Salinas Grandes okay so the breakfast was typical Argentinian <laughs> some toast with Dulce de leche. Alright, let's go. They're preparing uh, the market at the moment. So, I am at the Mirador <laughs> and you cannot see anything because we are in the clouds and we are at 4,350 meters now and uh, this is supposed to be uh, a fantastic view on the 14 colored mountain except that, well, you can't see anything, hey? <laughs> So yeah, I don't know what else to say, that it's a little bit unfortunate that uh, I can't absolutely see nothing because behind that hill, I think, over there, there is supposed to be the 14 colored mountain with some spectacular <laughs> geology, beautiful colors, very interesting story, but uh, yeah. There's a cloud there. So I decided to not give up just yet. I'm going to walk down this route and then uh, see if by the time I reach the other side over there, maybe, maybe the clouds have gone. So <laughs> let's see. So the clouds have moved away a little bit. It's a bit of a shame because that cloud is sitting right in front of 
the most impressive colors. So I cannot see the 14 colors. Although I am not sure if it's actually 14 colors because I've heard that they rebranded this mountain to 14 color mountains to compete with the seven color mountain that I showed you in the last video. Nevertheless, it's a super stunning place. Well, walking back up this hill at this altitude, definitely a lot harder than going down. But they say that exercising at the altitude will help you acclimatizing. So think bigger picture here. Almost there. Almost there. And now obviously when I'm leaving, the clouds go away and the mountain becomes visible. <laughs> it's just uh, Murphy's law, isn't it? But it doesn't matter. It was really nice being up there. I am back in Humahuaca town. And what I'm going to do now is that I am going to cross the main road to the other side and then go straight on a small route. I don't expect to uh, see any traffic there. On my way to uh, Salinas Grande. So this is the road 9 that I took uh, this morning from Tilcara. I'm just gonna go straight off it again here. Was supposed to be a road there which is gone I think I have to take that road see if I can find another way area
Ui. Hola. Hasta el alquilar. ¿Está bien? ¿La camina está bien? Ok, muy bien, gracias. Might as well ask him for <laughs> road conditions. But I think until uh, a town called uh, El Aguilar, well, I asked him, he said it's fine. And then from there to Salinas Grandes, I think the road is a bit bigger, so. Uh, I assume <laughs> that, that that will be fine. Ah, so here he's been working as well. See, this is what happens if you get rains. Then this becomes a proper mess. And this is the top of the pass. What does it say here? Propiedad privada. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I am almost at 4,000. I am now at 3,966. So, pretty high. Wow. Oh, it's so beautiful here. Incredible. And I see a few houses over there, which is the first sign of <laughs> civilization or people since uh, I left Humahuaca. This entire stretch, there's absolutely nobody. Got a small river crossing. Oh, another river crossing with horses. I think if there's been a lot of rainfall here, this might be a little bit tricky, but now it's fine.
track is a little bit rough. At 3,500 meters altitude. I just have to stop for a second and just admire this view. Beautiful. I can count 14 colors from here. <laughs> no need to go to the touristy 14 colored mountain if you can ride over here, right? Oh, I almost bumped into this <laughs> group of donkeys. That we're suddenly standing in the middle of the path. Yeah, now they're gonna run in front of me. <laughs> Go to the side, donkeys. Yes. Thank you. I reached the town El Aguilar and it doesn't look like a regular town, it looks like some mining town. Not sure what they're doing here. But in any case, from here it's another 52 kilometers to my destination of the day, which is uh, about 10 kilometers away from the edge of the salt flat. Oh, it's a bit of a ghost town. Well, I already left the town and I, well, apparently wrongly assumed that the road was going to be better from here because I figured, you know, this town needs a proper access road. Apparently they don't. Or at least not a southern road. Because I can't say this is a much better track but hey maybe maybe it will still change who knows I came from those red mountains on the top of that pass I was at 4,000 something and now I am almost at 4,200 it's quite high again and I think this is the top of the pass almost Me. This dog is biting me. Oh my god. I have to run with my legs up because this dog is biting me. I could see in the eyes of those dogs they been business. And this dog just bit me. I think he got my pants or my boots. 
so I don't think I'm uh, injured but he definitely hung on to my leg when he approached me I could see it this one means business he is gonna bite me but uh, luckily my boots are quite high and uh, he didn't get my leg River crossing. Here's another tiny, tiny village. You're skinny. Huh? Hi. These rocks indicate where the road is, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Whee, slippery. It's a bit muddy up here. You can see it's from the deep tracks. It's honestly really hard to see where the road is. Um, I think here. Yes. There's a lot of uh, runoff coming from the mountains, bringing all this water and mud. Because the original track is not bad, but there's just this layer of uh, slick kind of deposited on top, making this kind of little hard. reached the town where I'm going to stay tonight it's a tiny little town and I think there's one place to stay but uh, I made a reservation just uh, to make sure that I can stay there so don't have to worry about finding a place Posada El Silencio sounds perfectly nice and quiet <laughs> Tengo una reservación? Sí. sí. The no can sit behind the gate. That's nice. Gracias. And I made it look at my cute little room. I really like it. I made it here to this tiny, I don't even know what the name is of this town. But anyway, just before I entered town, I could already see the salt flat in the distance. So I'm really quite close to uh, Salinas Grandes. Anyway, what a day, what a day. Uh, I, I thought it was gonna be nice, but I didn't expect it to be so beautiful and so remote. Uh, I mean, to be honest, right here where I am now, uh, there is no uh, signal and also no internet. So I am a little bit remote, uh, but uh, yeah, the route to here, nobody. But uh, yeah, 
fantastic. Uh, I did get quite a scare of those dogs. Yeah, I, I already saw the dog, I saw it in his eyes that he was evil and he was already like showing his teeth when I was just riding uh, towards dogs. And uh, <laughs> I often get people telling me that I should have dog biscuits with me, which I can then throw at them or, you know, that you should stop or speed up or whatever you need to do. But um, yeah, I think if I would have stopped, I would also uh, would have been bitten. Uh, these dogs really were not messing around. Um, so yeah, um, I think I did quite okay because in the end, my pants aren't even damaged. Uh, I think he bit me. He got the pants and I think the boot, uh, but he didn't get through and he also didn't rip my pants. So uh, all in all, no damage, which is good. And uh, yeah, well, first real dog uh, attack done. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, what did I want to say now? Oh yeah, the last 25 kilometers to here was really quite tricky. It was so slippery and muddy, uh, but I made it no droppings of the no yeah some of the tracks today were really quite rough um, but i'm super proud of the no she did it at high altitude as well uh, without any uh, problems so i'm really happy with that and uh, that i didn't fall or anything like that no bike droppings today uh, so that's fantastic um, i'm going to make sure that i charge all my stuff for the next ride where i'm gonna go towards the salinas grandes so i hope you liked this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and then i'll see you in the next video